Guys, in this video, I'll be building a simple animation using a library called Framer Motion. So in this video, we are going to learn how to build a hover and tap animations. So for example, if you have a website and you have some elements on it that you would like to animate when user is trying to hover over that element or user is tapping on the element. So we can build these kind of animations using a Framer Motion library in React. So in this video, we will go step by step and build this animation from scratch. So stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Now let's go to the Visual Studio code and start coding. Before we start coding, let's have a quick look at what exactly we are building in this video. So in this video, I'll be building a simple button and I'm going to put some animations on this button. For example, when I hover over this button, it's really responsive and I have built this animation using Framer Motion. You can also do the similar animation using CSS, but Framer Motion makes it highly responsive to the user actions and it's really easy to use Framer Motion to build these kind of animations. Now let's go to the Visual Studio code and build this animation from scratch. So guys, I have a hello world application running here and to start building this project, the first thing we have to do is to install Framer Motion in this project. So I'm just going to open a new terminal and install Framer Motion by running a command that is npm install Framer Motion. So guys, now Framer Motion has been installed in this project and we are going to need some imports from Framer Motion. So here at the top, I'm just going to import a element that is motion from Framer Motion. So that's the element we are going to import. Let me expand a little bit so we can see clearly. So that's our import that we are going to need from Framer Motion. So we are basically going to start by building a simple button here in place of hello world. Before we do that, let me put some styling on this div tag. So here on the div tag, I'm just going to put a style tag and I'm just going to put some styling here that is going to say display is going to be flex and we are going to justify the content in the center. We are also going to align all the items in this div tag to the center. So if I save this, I can see that my hello world has moved to the center of the page and if, and if i assign one more property that is height to be 100 vh so this hello world is going to move in the center of the page so that is something we need to start building this application and now here in place of hello world i'm just going to place a simple button here and this button is going to say click me so that's a very simple button here and we are going to put some styling on this button so let's put a style tag on this button so in the style tag, I can mention that the background color of this button should be white and the color of the text in this button is going to be black. So now we have a simple button here. I'm just also going to give it a width of 100 pixels and let's increase the height as well. So the height is going to be 20 pixels. Let's make it 40 so we can see clearly. So that's our button and we are also going to put some border radius to it to make it look more stylish so the border radius is going to be five pixels so this is going to add a little bit of radius around the border let's actually increase the size of the button so we can see very clearly on the screen so i'm just going to double the size of the button and i'm also going to increase the font size of the text inside this button this is going to be 40 pixels that's too big let's make it 20 pixels so that's our basic button now but as of now this button is not having any animations so one more property that we are going to add in this styling is that when i go over that button the cursor has to be pointer so now it's a pointer when i hover over this button so now what i want is i want to put some animation when i'm trying to hover over it and when i'm trying to click on this button so to put some animations on this button you can see that i have imported something called motion from framer motion at the top of this file so here in the button i'm just going to convert this button to motion dot button so i can put some more properties here if i convert this button to motion dot button because motion is an element that is coming from framer motion and it's giving us access to some more properties that we can add here so one of the property that we can add here is going to be while hover so which means when i hover over this button i'm able to put some animation by using this property but this property can only be applied to the elements that have a motion tag in it so before applying this property make sure you have converted that button to motion dot button so here on this property while hover i'm just going to increase the scale of the button to 1.2 so when somebody tries to hover over this button, the button size is going to increase by 20%. 
so now you can see that when i hover over this button the size is increasing by 20 percent so on hover i'm also going to apply one more property that is going to be background color so when somebody is trying to hover over this button i'm just going to change my background color to black and i'm going to change my text color to white so now this is going to add a very good animation with the help of colors and the scale of the button so now when i try to go over my button it's also scaling the button by 20 percent but at the same time it's also changing the colors but as of now if i click on this button nothing is happening so we are also going to put some animation that is going to happen when somebody is going to click on this button so for that we are going to use another property that is while tap tab is basically a click on the button so when somebody is trying to tap over this button we are going to have opposite effect we will actually reduce the scale to 0.9 we are basically reducing the size of the button when somebody is going to tap over it so that's the effect that is going to happen now i'm hovering over the button now the size is increased by 20 percent but if i click on it you can see that this is creating a very interesting effect to add more to it i can also make the colors reverse so when somebody clicks on the button I'm just going to change my background color to white which is opposite of what we are doing on hover effect and I'm also going to change my text color to black so if I do that now if I hover over my button so now this is having a very interesting effect with the help of colors and the scales that are changing by using these properties on the button so guys that's all I wanted to cover in this video so these are the two important properties while hover and while tap that we can use to add more animations on these buttons you can try and add some more properties here to improve this animation effect i'm going to leave it to you to explore more on these properties so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one